it's up Taffers. it's your boy it's nick the asmr nerd and we are back for more thief 2 it's definitely time for another one of these we've hit that uh sort of three month threshold <laughs> since the last one and um I've been getting some comments uh, on videos and some uh, inquiries in my streams about uh, when we can expect the nef next Thief episode, and uh, here we are. <laughs> now is the answer. You can expect it now. Uh, so we're going to be jumping back into the second mission of the game, which is called Shipping and Receiving, and I believe our objective is to relabel a crate of goods so that it gets shipped to somewhere that we can pick it up rather than its intended recipient. And uh, so we're casing a warehouse or warehouses down by the docks and trying to uh, infiltrate and uh, redirect said goods. Uh, and there's a bunch of other stuff going on too, but you know what, let's just jump on into it, and I'm sure we'll remember where we were and uh, what we were doing. So without further ado, let's continue Thief 2. Okay, right, 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 right. So, last time we left off in the office of this warehouse complex. We had managed to infiltrate the offices and um, gain access to something very important here uh, found within this room, this office personnel only room. And that is this mechanized system right here, a security system that controls the locks to the garage doors, basically, I think, for each of the, you know, warehouse spaces in this building. And uh, the way we use it is by dialing in the number of the warehouse space, and, uh, and then that uh, opens the corresponding door. And, um, I was lamenting the fact, I think, in the last episode that we were going to have to do that manually, or not manually, we were going to have to go and find the number of each um, warehouse space uh, by going outside and uh, checking the number on the wall. But a kind commenter, I believe it was Blinetta, um, recommended instead to check our map. So let's check our map. And, um, wow, isn't that helpful? Uh, we, in fact, have the numbers for each area listed on our map. So that is going to make things a lot easier uh, if we're going to go out there and pilfer all kinds of stuff. Okay, so bay doors marked here in red, I guess. Elevators in green. I don't even know if I looked at the map for this mission, honestly. Um, and uh, and here's our second floor. There are two buildings in this area. We are in building A right now. There's also building B, which uh, appears to be maybe more heavily guarded. Maybe some weird mechanist stuff going on there. Not sure. Um, I do not know if we actually have to infiltrate that building, really. Like, if we go check our objectives. What do we got? Um, our primary goal is to find a shipping label and redirect Gilver's shipment by placing a new label on the big crate outside of his office. Okay. I'm not quite sure where Gilver's is, truth be told. Here we go. Gilford Exporting Company. I had probably figured that out last time, I just forgot. But good to know where that is. 
We have to find five bags of spice. That's super random. Where are we gonna find spice? Fine art. I doubt it. Experimental apothecary. Maybe. What is this? Steaks. What does this even say? Mine. 21 steaks. I can't read that. The quality is pretty poor. Well, yeah, we might find spice with steaks, I guess. Steak spice, anyone? Mine 11 steaks. Is what it looks like it says. Um, I don't know what Lucky Celentura is. Or DM Blackheart for that matter. But anyway, uh, we're going to find out. So let's, um, let's start pilfering. So we've actually been into a couple of these spaces already. I guess we got in the doors. I don't remember exactly, but um, I think we ought to just start making our way around clockwise. So why don't we start with the stakes? That's going to be 6013 by the looks of it. By the looks of it. Oh, and actually we do have maps for building B here. Mechanist, material, storage bay, and packaging bay. Oh wow, there's a lot going on here. Offices. This place is gonna be challenging, I think. Nothing on our notes page. Okay, so what did I say? 6013. 6013. Dang. Something opened. It ought to be the main doors for this place. Now I think we've uh, more or less dealt with the guards around here, most of them anyway, so I don't think we have to be too very cautious, although famous last words, right? Um, but I think we managed to get most of them. Oh, very dangerous. Gotta watch out for the uh, ladders here. Let's see, can we make it down without falling to our death? Excellent. Okay. Oh, crap. <laughs> what did I say? We gotta be, gotta be careful. <laughs> Famous last words. He heard us. I don't know if he's seen us. <clears throat> I still don't think he's seen us. As soon as he turns around, we'll bop him. Anytime now, buddy. incidental dialogue that you overhear in these games. He should play Manor Lords if he wants to be a Manor Lord. Bro, could you please turn around? This is very awkward. Like, I don't think we can get out of here without him seeing us. And, of course, we're not allowed to kill him. I honestly think he might just stay there. Well, this is very awkward indeed. <laughs> okay, let's just try really carefully to sneak, 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 sneak over here. Uh -huh. Excellent. Okay, we're probably out of his line of sight if we go this way, but we do need to get in that door, so I have a better idea. Let's try to sneak past him and get behind him. This might be a little bit ambitious. Definitely could be. But I feel like the shadows are sufficient. What's that? Stop right there! Oh, crap. Well, 
so much for that. I guess we're re reloading that. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, did you hear the screenshot noise there? Interesting. F12 is the Steam screenshot key, but it's also quick load. I don't remember it being a problem before, but oh well. Uh, okay, turns out that was a little too ambitious. Oh, man. Is this guy really gonna make us go around the whole building just to get the drop on him? Fine then, sir. <laughs> let's, let's just go around, I guess. <laughs> There's probably other options, but this seems like the most straightforward in a weird way. And it'll allow us to case the joint for any more guards while we're at it. I really thought we had got all the patrolling guards, though. Like, we spent quite a bit of time in the first episode of this mission going around uh, bopping them on the head. Little bunny foo-foo style. Got some body piles. <laughs> Oh shoot. Okay, well we apparently did not do it. Oh come on. You gotta be kidding me. Where did these jerks come from? Oh, fine, we'll load. Honestly. Should we try one more time? Uh, what's oh. over there? Nothing. No, then. Not as exciting as I thought. What if we go really slow? Really slow. Hey! Hold it right there! No, I refuse. Oh! Oh! Yeah, I don't know. He kind of shot us. We've got one health left. It's really not ideal. All right, fine, 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 fine. Okay, we'll go back around the building. This time we know to watch out for that other guy and this guy. I swear we dealt with these jerks already, but maybe they're off patrolling elsewhere and then came back to their posts and we missed them or something. I don't know. Who can say? Okay, let's get around this corner and then we'll be careful. <laughs> Maybe not quite that careful, but... Okay, so there should be some guy right there. Yeah, there he is. All right, let's quick save just in case something goes sideways here, which it, it could, you know. We're out in the open. It's not good. I think we can get behind him here. spot, huh? Honestly, though, perfect little corner. We don't even have to move his body. Okay, a little uh, quick savey save, perhaps. Uh, and we'll keep going. up here. So let's... I just don't want to have to run back around again. And he 
he's just standing there staring at the crates for reasons. I don't know. Staring right where we were. <clears throat> Pardon me, right where we were hiding. Okay. That was uh, definitely the long way around. But uh, now I think we've actually managed to deal with the guards. So, what's the deal with the stakes? Oh, spiders. Gross. Okay. I did think I heard that when we were... Looking last. Ugh. I hate the spiders in these games. Frick. Right, they jump. Why is this thing so hard to hit? Really? Come on. secret ingredient. Oh god. Here, 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 here. I probably should have shot this guy through the grate well. Well. Rats, come on. I'm not letting you get away. <laughs> We're not gonna let this thing just wander the streets. Really? Are you kidding me? Wait, there's another spider there. Where is this big dude going? This is hilarious. I could just let him go, but... I don't want to get jump scared by it. <laughs> Where does he think he's going? Ugh, wasting all my broadhead arrows. This is so dumb. Oh, shoot. There's another guard there. Was the spider going after the guard? Also, this guard has not noticed anything. He didn't notice the spider, he didn't notice my arrows. <gasps> I just saved you from a buffet worse than death. All right, I hope you know that. From a disgusting, gigantic spider. He was coming for you, buddy. You don't know, but I did you a favor tonight. Gross. Like Garrett says. Okay, well, I wasted a bunch of broadhead arrows. That kind of sucks, but whatever. I've got plenty, and uh, it's not like I'm going to use them for murdering guards or anything, so. Oh, right. Jeez, this guy. Don't you dare. <sighs> Yo, the broadhead arrows that I miss with, can't I technically pick those up again? Or maybe not. Maybe not. Oh well. Like I said, we've still got tons. Very smooth so far. Master thiefing. You know. R8 Minels, Spider Stakes. It looks like uh, it might have at least been worth our time doing all that because there does appear to be a silver nugget in here. Ta-da! Totally worth it. 
now um, there's some elevators and a second floor here. So I guess we'll go up and see if uh, Minel's got any spider steak spices. in there. I don't like it. Don't like it one bit. I guess maybe it's a refrigerator or something. I don't know. More spiders. Why am I unsurprised? I hear them. I don't see them though. Oh, there's dead spiders in here. Wait, did you seriously? Oh, good, there's a button. This is creepy. This definitely has a, uh, a refrigeration unit of sorts. <laughs> Should we grab a piece of meat? Deer leg, it says. Okay, well, I guess I can eat that. Yeah, there's definitely dead spiders being, uh, refrigerated in here. Disgusting. But it sounds like there's live ones as well. Where? Up on the top shelf, maybe. This still doesn't look like the kind of place I'm gonna find a key, though, you know? Gross, 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 gross. Oh yeah, there he is. One live spider. Let's put him out of his misery. How did I miss that? But, <laughs> pretty sure that was like a point blank shot. Whoa, buddy, chill. Okay, this is getting stupid. There we go. Only wasted four arrows, no big deal, no big deal. Um, there's literally no point in killing that little guy either because there's there's nothing up here not as far as I can tell he was probably pretty chilly honestly what a weird room like I don't know what I expected to find in the spider fridge <laughs> I guess
outside hope there might be some kind of loot in here, but uh, nope, there's nothing. Not as far as I can tell. Sometimes it is hard to tell. Sometimes things are well hidden, but anyway, let's get out of here. I don't like it one bit. Hello. Excuse me, what? Excuse me, what? Are we stuck in the spider fridge? <laughs> Why would the game do that? What? Are you freaking kidding me? Wow, that is so rude. Not only is it a useless spider fridge with no... Oh. Okay, there is a way out. I was gonna say there's no treasure in here, but there's no way out. But, uh, this is probably an option. Okay. Thank goodness. That spider fridge had me worried for a moment. I still don't think this helps us, though. I mean, it gets us out, but it, it's... There's no, uh, loot to be had up here that I can see. Uh, let's go up here. Oops. Hello, can we please? Nope. Just clang, clang, clang. But we're not loud. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> it's possible there's something up, up here somewhere. This is dangerous. I'm gonna hug the wall here. Nah, I don't see anything. Check on the other side too, just in case, but uh, I guess there's nothing. Okay. <laughs> if I named these episodes like differently each time rather than just naming them after the mission. Stuck in the Spider Fridge would be a really good name for this episode. Yet yeah, nothing to be had here. A rather pointless endeavor, I must say. Stupid Spider Fridge. Uh, um. And, uh, yeah, no, no resolution to the safe. Kind of bothers me, actually. There's got to be a way in there, right? But, uh, it seems we are unable to find an appropriate key. Guess we're done with the freaking spider steak place. Um, and I really have no desire to go back, so. Um, oh, yeah, this is the weapon smith that we've been in here. Alright, let's try another one. <laughs> that was really not very uh, lucrative. There, we got one. One silver nugget from that whole adventure. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Minels stakes. Um, okay, the Gilford Exporting Company. We know we have to go there. Let's skip that over for now. Um, let's try Lady Angelica's Experimental Apothecary. That sounds like it could be interesting. Zero six two four. Excellent. Also, it did mention in the objectives that we are looking, we have to find a shipping label and redirect Gilver's shipment by placing a new label on the big crate outside of his office. 
I don't think we've found a shipping label, but this seems like the place we might find one, right? Yeah, we already read that. But I do not know where that shipping label might be. I see no shipping label in here. But it kind of stands to reason that the main office would maybe have a shipping label. I guess maybe Kilfer's place does too. Anyway, let's uh, uh, what's the easiest way down to Lady Angelica's place? I guess out this way, huh? Yeah, let's go this way. Once again, being very wary of the ladder. The ladder. Quick save. Watch our step. Here we are. Lady Angelica Experimental Apothecary. Potion testers needed. Inquire within. Seems legit. to all these rooms should we need it in future. We don't have to do any weird running around, you know. Okay, so here we've got um, some kind of papyrus. Jibril 50. And that is my final offer. By the teeth of my ancestors, I nearly think I could journey into the forest and cut my own greenery. Pagan bandits be damned rather than pay such prices. Signed, Lord Signoli. I wonder if Jabril is Lady Angelica. Jabril Angelica, perhaps. Um, nothing over here by the looks of it. Disappointing. Also, this lucky cylindura and Noah germ and TM plus. 
black art, so there's some other stuff down on the first floor. But let's check out Lord Porter's fine art. 6937.
Well, let's try that anyway. Got it. That's a bingo. Or so it would seem.
rather safe and kind of useless unless we have a key. Unless this one's pickable. It's possible. It's possible. Oh, come on. I just want to get up to the top of the shelf. Uh, oh, there is a lockbox up there. Look at that. Oh, a key. Probably for the safe. Well, that was well worthwhile. Well, actually, we have no idea what's in the safe. It might not be much, but... Secret. Good stuff. Nice. Some golden dice. That's fun. All right. Hey, that was pretty solid. Still got to figure out where to find the key for the safe in the gross spider steak place. Okay, now let us simply duck around the corner here. And... Uh, uh, right, 0928. Let's try that. Can hear one door close and the other open. So what was this place? This is, uh, Noah Germ. Germ is the man that uh. makes those magic lenses. There's probably some valuable lenses in here. Okay. Good to know. Let's see what we can find. Magical lenses. I guess that might be one. Musicians. I feel 
feel a little bit bad stealing from musicians. I presume they don't make a lot to begin with, but uh, maybe that's unfair of me to assume. Is this a recording studio? Are these mixers? I think they are. Oh, a random gear. Nope, not worth anything. Oh, wait. Where should I put it? Uh, not sure. Okay, well, that's interesting. Um, mechanist instructions. If thou wouldst unlock this kind of door, thou wilt needs to use the appropriate gear. Insert thou the correct gear unto the locking mechanism. When the mechanism be complete with the correct gear, then marvel thou as the gears turn to unlock the door. For those with no eye to tell one gear from its cousin, know thou also that if thou use the incorrect gear, the mechanism shall fail thee, and nothing shall happen. If thou hast concerns, please bring them unto me, friend Capetza. Well, we've only got one gear, so seems likely to me that that's the one we need to use. <laughs> I don't see any others here. So yeah, let's... Uh, where is that gear? insert it into here. Nice. Easy peasy. Uh, some nice harps. <laughs> um, ooh, nice horn. Oh. Which we can't use for anything and doesn't make any sound. Also not valuable, apparently. A piccolo or a flute, maybe. Okay, that's gems. Not sure what the horn is for. What is this? So how are we 
down for loot. Um, 700. Okay, we're close, actually. We only need another 100 loot uh, to get to where we need to go. Or to, you know, finish our objective. But where will we find that is the question. Probably in Gilver's place, actually. Okay, well, let's try the interior doors, just in case. Nope. Nope, okay. And then there is an exterior door, which I think we've tested, and it was locked. Okay, let's uh, try sneaking around here. Um, on this ledge and see if maybe we can find a way in here. Hello. Oh, come on. That was really dumb. I don't know, I got stuck on an invisible wall or something. This is why we save.
kind of cheesed my way up here. Oh yeah, there's no way we're supposed to be here. <laughs> we can see right outside the level. But you never know, maybe it'll let us uh, get somewhere. <laughs> Oops. Nope. Okay. Hold on. We're gonna load. Uh, although the fact that this is so out of bounds suggests to me that, um, yeah, there's really no way to get into the place we're trying to get into from here. Even if we do manage to get onto that ledge and make our way all the way around the building, there's probably no entry point. Okay, well this actually doesn't look that out of bouncy. This looks maybe intentional. Okay, okay. You know what, I, I take it back, this might, might actually be viable. Possibly. Well, there's the uh, roof that we're interested in, but uh, I don't see any points of entry. Nothing jumping out at me anyway. No. No. Not gonna happen. Come on, you can surely mantle up there. But it does not want to let us... Uh, Okay, well, let, let's one more time load that quick save. And uh, we can go the other way around. Even if this is not ultimately going to get us where we want to go, uh, or if it's not the intended route, it's still kind of fun to do this sort of thing and just see where you can get to, you know? Ladder, that's a quick. 
quick save. <laughs> Actually, sure if we can drop from here without hurting ourselves. Let's see. All right, we're good. We're good. All right. DM Gilver, Gilver Exporting Company. Um. So uh, now, what crate are we actually supposed to be slapping this label onto? said it was just outside, did they? Or outside the office, maybe. This looks like an office. We do have some crates down here. Not sure that any of them are the crate we're aiming for. There's this heckin' huge crate here. Oh yeah, there we go. Wow, that's a large shipment to redirect. Let's see what's going on in the office. Then we'll go up to the second floor. Oh, fancy map. Looks like a ledger of some kind. Let's check it out. My journal. Entry number 4,279. Man, this guy's really into journaling. I don't know what is happening to my business. Every attempt to gain extra profit only leads to more loss. On paper, every business plan that I devise with a bramrich seems flawless, but in practice they always fall through. Last month's overseas export to Governor Horridge was supposed to make us rich, but the ship never made it to its destination. I suspect piracy. I had to take out a loan just to cover last month's losses. I was hoping to have this reshipment to the governor out the door two days ago, but my workers seem to have a hard time toting that barge and lifting that bale when I really need them. I would fire them all in a second, but I wouldn't be able to find anyone to work for what little I can afford to pay. I just finalized the governor's shipment, and I had my secretary run over to Bramrich's office to grab the shipping label so that it can be attached to the outgoing crate. I'm going to, I'm going over to the crippled burrick for a drink, then it's back here for more paperwork. Oh man, I feel a little bit bad now. <laughs> Stealing, uh, Gilver's stuff. Whoa. I just, on a whim, thought I'd check behind here. And there was totally a gem there. Now, if I were to... There you go. That was the actual way to do it. But I just, like, right-clicked just on the off chance. It's one of those things you kind of get a sense in this game when something's a, little, a bit different or out of place. You get a sense that maybe it's worth investigating, and that map was definitely a bit different. All right, well, we have now, um, oh, it's 8.50. Oh, so we still need 50 loot. Um, and we still need five bags of spice. Where the heck are we gonna get five bags of spice? Honestly, I don't remember what the spice is all about. some spice up here. I don't know. Plates. Lots of plates. Oh, all valuable. Uh, 
um, yeah, I wonder, is the spice, like, actually spice, or is it, is that a euphemism for drugs? Well, it's possible that there's some open crate up on top of this giant stack, so let's see what we can do. Let's try it. 
again, probably not gonna bear fruit, but uh, it's worth checking. The ceilings are wood, so that's something maybe. But uh, I see no second story access anywhere in here except for this elevator shaft. And unfortunately, the surround of the elevator shaft is metal. If I aim right, I could hit that button with an arrow and activate it. Oh, okay. Thanks, Garrett, because I never would have considered that. So a rope arrow is not the trick, but shooting the button up there is. All right, that's, uh, yeah, it's going to be a sneaky shot. But uh, we'll give it a go. Man, this can be really tough. <laughs> Don't know, maybe if we... hard to know exactly where in the reticle the arrow goes. Nope, not quite. Curses. It's also quite dark, which makes this even harder. Now we're going too high now. I'm almost 
almost certain these have got to be developers. I bet you these are devs. And this is a little inside joke. Mistress Carrie, she's here for instruction. Sean to J to, to Jesus, <laughs> maybe. Charge 125, he tips better when we charge less. <laughs> Mark Ulucci, find a reason to send him away. I think he's an undercover blue coat. Lord Porter. <laughs> I betcha, I betcha those are devs. And what have we got in here? Coin purse, uh, valuables. Awesome. Well, friends, um, we've made some good progress here. We've made some good progress. Part of me wants to just keep going and finish this level, but I think we're going to push this to a third episode because we still have to go all over to our, you know, to the um, building B there and, uh, you know, whatever exploration we can do of the mechanist's place we will do um, over there and, uh, you know, the, the docks down and around it as well and then we still have to figure out how to get into that stupid safe with the spider spices or whatever it is <laughs> I don't know I don't know but um, we will find out next episode I'm sure there's something that we just missed that key is probably in the creepy spider meat fridge or something I don't know but um, we'll figure it out next time but for now dear taffers uh, uh, we're going to call for another episode there will of course be another at some point in the future will it be soon will it be later who can say who can say you know my usual cadence is about three months between episodes but every once in a while i decide we're just gonna do another one sooner <laughs> so maybe this will be that time you never know you never know but uh whatever the case you know that i deeply appreciate you coming along on these adventures. I deeply appreciate your enthusiasm and passion for this series. And a big shout out, of course, to those who remind me in the comments and on the streams when it's getting, you know, time to, uh, to, uh, do another one of these. So, uh, thanks for coming along and I'll see you next time. Taffers, farewell for now. And since I'm thanking all of you taffers, well, it's time to thank these taffers as well. These taffers who kindly support this channel through Patreon and YouTube memberships. They help me create the kind of content that I like to make the most and that you hopefully enjoy watching the most as well, such as these thief videos. I have never put a sponsorship on one of these thief videos, and I don't think I ever will. It just wouldn't feel right. And to be totally honest, you've probably noticed this as well, but these thief videos, they don't really do the numbers like some other videos do. There's a small but passionate and dedicated audience that watches these, but it's, you know, not the most popular uh, series or, or type of video that I do, but I do them because I love them. They are uh, some of my favorites to do, and I know many, many of you do as well. That's why you're here watching the end of one of these Thief vids, and it is the support of people like these that you see in front of you that, uh, you know, give me the freedom to keep making this kind of content, and uh, that is very meaningful. I appreciate it very, very much. Um, if you, dear viewer or listener, dear Taffer, would like to support this kind of content in that way, uh, you'll find links down below at the top of the video description. Both my Patreon and YouTube memberships offer the same perks, three tiers on each of them. I'm sure you can find a tier that is right for you. At the highest tier, the Fus Roda tier, those legends get their name read out in a special spoken shout out in every single video. And it is my great honor to read to you now the name 
names of our Fusro Dot Tier supporters for this video. Starting with Jake Loveney, Odin Sun, Drummer Britt, K Time, Bruce Buchner, Captain Vanquisher, Ragnar Ragnarsson, and last but never least, Smitty. Uh, a more wonderful group of folks you will not find anywhere. I appreciate their kind support so very much as I do the kind support of all those individuals you see here. A big, big thank you to this channel's amazing supporters. <laughs> 